I have a math problem that is going viral all over the internet right now. This problem has originated in China as 5th grade students had to provide a solution for it on their exam. This is the problem. If a ship had 26 sheep and 10 goats on board, how old is the ship's captain? This problem got a lot of media coverage and a lot of attention, but everyone has missed the real story behind it. So this problem was first observed by some French researchers approximately 40 years ago. The strength of this problem lies in a valuable lesson about math classes. In this video I'm going to talk about this story which was completely missed by almost everyone. Now before I get to this I want to give you a quick briefing concerning this problem. And I will go through some possible solutions which were provided. The amazing thing is that this problem got coverage around the world. From the South China Morning Post, the RT, the BBC, the Washington Post and the Newsweek and many more. The media was completely focused on solving the problem. From all the possible answers which I have seen, this one which comes from Weibo commenter is the most sensible one. The total weight of 26 sheep and 10 goats is 7700 kilograms, based on the average weight of each animal. I did a little bit of fact checking on this comment. You would actually get 3000 470 kilograms. If you made this search in Wolfram Alpha. Now 3470 kilograms is equal to 7700 pounds. But this nitpick is not that crucial in solving this problem. So let's continue with the result of 7700 kilograms. This comment furthermore states. In China, if you're driving a ship that has more than 5,000 kilograms of cargo, you need to have passed a boat license for 5 years. The minimum age for getting a boat's license is 23 years old. So the captain is at least 28 years old. This leap in logic is something that I am fascinated with. But if this sounds barely acceptable to you, just remember that these types of deductions are very common in Sherlock Holmes stories. Let's take an example from the Hound of the Baskervilles. From examining a walking stick of a man, he has never met Sherlock Holmes deduces the man is under 30 years old, is a family doctor and owns a dog. The official response in China is that the question was not a mistake. It was actually meant to be open-ended and encourage critical thinking, which is usually not present in math classes. And this statement would be the end of this story, except a minor detail, which is that this problem has not originated from China. The real story is that this problem was first developed by French researchers in the year 1979. That makes this problem more than 40 years old. And I believe that many people have heard about this problem in this or a similar shape. Now, I have found out that in 1979, the French researchers have asked first and second grade students the following problem. On the boat, there are 26 sheep and 10 goats. What is the age of the captain? I just loved it when I saw this. This problem has been here for more than 40 years and it was worded in almost the same way. The question now is, what is the point of this exercise? From some of the sources, the researchers were expecting most students to think that this question is absurd. The correct answer would be, there is not enough information. But the result which they found was shocking to them. More than three quarters of students who were given this problem have tried to solve it by manipulating the numbers. Their answer was something like 26 plus 10 is equal to 36, so the captain must be 36 years old. 
A huge minority of the students dared to question the problem itself by questioning whether it was solvable. The fact remains that this wasn't some fluke result. The study was then replicated on a much larger scale and in more countries. This question was given as a problem to students from France, Germany and Switzerland. This was even tested by the researchers who were skeptical of the result. They were antagonistic to this hypothesis that students are just going to manipulate numbers and then they have encountered the same result. There is one of the problems that is related to one given to the students in China. There are 125 sheep and 5 dogs. In a flock, how old is the shepherd? Again, the expected answer would be there is not enough information to solve the problem. And here researchers were confronted by the shocking result yet again. A majority of the students came up with a solution by manipulating the numbers given in a problem. One student has provided the following reasoning. 125 plus 5 is equal to 130, and that is too old. One hundred and twenty-five minus five is equal to one hundred and twenty, and that is also too old. Now, one hundred and twenty-five divided by five is equal to twenty-five, and that sounds about right. So the shepherd is 25 years old. Let's now get to conclusion. This so-called Chinese test question that went viral was in reality a French research question from a more than 40 years ago. For an absurd question like this one, only appropriate answer is that there is not enough information. And to give the credit where credit is due, I compliment the Chinese school for giving this question to their students because it is important to improve the critical thinking of students in math class. The common approach is to think that every single problem that we get is solvable and that it has to be solvable just by manipulating the numbers given in that problem. What we really need to think is, does the question actually make sense? And is there enough information to solve it? And with that, I will conclude this story about the viral question from China. Please like, share, subscribe and leave a comment as I love reading those. Thank you for watching and if you have enjoyed this video, then I would strongly recommend that you watch this one next. And with that, I'll see you in the future video.